What's up guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the Red Komodo and specifically what settings I like to use for live broadcasts. Now, if you follow this channel at all, you know I do a lot of live broadcasting and concert films, specifically using RED cameras, and lately it's been a lot of RED Komodo because it is the new camera. I've done three installations of broadcast systems with RED Komodos, and over the last year, I've spent some time dialing in the settings that I like to use on the RED Komodo in a live broadcast situation. Now, if you really want the best bang for your buck, I'm going to recommend building a custom LUT. And if you don't know how to build a custom LUT, essentially you're gonna be shooting a color chart and a subject in the lighting that you're gonna be using. You pull that into DaVinci and you can adjust the color to how you want it to be and then you can export a LUT based on those settings that go in the camera. That's also how you would match two different camera brands like a Komodo and a Blackmagic Ursa together to make them look as close as you possibly can in a live broadcast situation. But if you're not looking to go that deep into color science for your live broadcast, there are some settings in here that I think look fantastic. And honestly, I think the Red Komodo looks better than most DSMC2s do for live broadcast. So let's dive into the menu and talk about the settings in here. First off, you're gonna wanna go to menu and image in LUT. So we're gonna select it on that. ISO and shutter. The biggest thing with shutter to note is a lot of times you have to change this based on your lighting or your LED walls are on stage. 180 is proper. I end up having to shoot 144 a lot just because of LED walls, but yeah, adjust your shutter for your flicker if you have to. Um, color output space. I do usually stick with the Rec. 709 out of the Komodo. I think it looks pretty natural, a lot more natural than the DSMC2s. Um, so let's go back and then I'll put tone map. I usually leave it on medium contrast. I want just enough contrast for it to be a nice rich image, but I don't want uh, too much contrast where it just feels unnatural. Um, highlight roll off. I usually do soft. Soft is where I like the highlight roll off. It doesn't get too harsh. Um, very soft. I switch between very soft and soft, but I usually end up on soft most of the time. Um, and then the last thing is the display preset. SDR, HDR, HLG. This does change your output. Um, I found that SDR actually looks the best unless you are in HDR workflow. I really like how SDR looks. I used to do HLG, um, but I found that it's just not quite there and the SDR looks better for a broadcast output. And then your 3D LUT, that is where um, you would enable a LUT if you have one or you create one for the Komodo. So Red has some built-in LUTs in here that you can try. Um, the color settings that I showed you with the, the Rec. 709 medium contrast soft SDR, are kind of my go-to settings for a live broadcasting. So that pretty much sums it up for baseline color settings that I like to use out of the Red Komodo when you're doing a live stream or a live broadcast. You can go way deeper than that and there's so much that you can do with the Red Sensor and R3D and so on and so forth, but that is the base that I'll start with. Also, pro tip, if you're using a Komodo and you use a Komodo a lot, Download the Red Control app. I use this app so much. I wish the DSMC2s had an app this good, but I use the Red Control app for the Komodo all the time. I love the live preview. It's it's insane. Highly, highly recommend getting that app if you're using the Red Komodo. And that wraps up this video, guys. If you have any questions about the Red Komodo or anything else, drop it in the comments below and I will try to answer that question as soon as possible. And if you wanna see more content like this, I have a lot more content planned. So make sure to hit subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.